everyone this is Vivek Kumar from Sudo Analytics and I welcome you to another episode of Weekend Fun Series. Today we are going to discuss about something what is buzzing around the internet and everybody is talking about that that is chat GPT. What I had recent interaction chat GPT and I got, I was simply amazed by the features and the preciseness of this particular AI based conversational tool. So I tried to get a hands on on this and uh, uh, I was willing to pull that thing in the Spotify ecosystem. So basically I tried to uh, attempt, I tried to attempt in a way that it will be giving a simple question and it will receive simple prompt based question uh, to uh, the uh, chat GPT and uh, the response will be captured back into the Spotify as a simple text itself. Basically, and I came across a blog which was uh, able to help us with uh, how to create a basic wrapper around ChatGPT using Python and it simply does uh, a list a sequence of steps that you need to follow to get started with ChatGPT Chat prompts and uh, what exactly it was having like it was saying simply get uh, go to Chat open API website and in and acquire a simple secret key or api key from from there and i generated that one and after that i simply need to paste that into a demo code hosted in the blog itself it was very simple but yeah means i was simply amazed by the features and functionalities available via chat gpt so i tried it i tried it in yesterday night and i was simply amazed like the answers were very precise and very very accurate most of the time it's like yeah there were some hiccup means that there are certain questions i asked and uh, i was not uh, getting the answers that i know they are uh, correct for sure but yeah means uh, most of the time it was very accurate so see how exactly it is working and see it in live action so basically in our dashboard we have to provide our query for chat gpt and that particular ch uh, conversation that particular query will be posted to chat gpt as a python based data function when we submit it we get a response from there like spot what exactly spot is. let's uh, change the question what is information designer in spot i'm going to change the question a bit and see the response it is basically giving the very very precise answers most of the time and we are we are simply amazed uh, amazed from that let's check this one and it is like uh, it's not just the sample question some, some simple questions we can ask to the uh, to chat gpt but yeah we can uh, do the complex one and that, that was, uh, thing i was talking about Information link in a spot is a feature that allows to connect to the external data sources and create visualizations from the data. Up to this much, I'm very satisfied with the answer. It is used to access data from databases, web services, text files. It can also be used to connect and analyze data from multiple sources. Fine. Information link can be used to create powerful visualizations such as maps, charts, tables, and it can also be used to create custom calculation and analytical models. I am doubtful about that. It is correct or not. But yeah, most of the things it got correctly. A few things, yeah, it gets confused uh, whether I'm talking about information link or the spot parameter specific. So that was a thing. And I just tried to get it. Just give it give a sample Python code to create a data frame. And I can ask even the complex questions, and the results are quite amazing. It means I was totally surprised to see the level of accuracy and the details being supplied. I always try to give something which will be simple enough to implement and adds a utility. So how to uh, create such thing it's very simple go to the data data function properties and have a look at how simple the script is yeah, i'm simply 
yeah means i have uh, tried i had tried different things but they didn't work basically i don't need this particular line because i'm not using fantas data frame right now what i did i have used uh, open api api key and the secret key i have passed as a input parameter here and another input parameter was uh, basically the mm, conversation itself like uh, uh, i have given the input as input variable prompt okay prompt was basically the query what we are going to consume and then this just 15 to 16 lines of code and i have recorded the response by translating those responses as a text and displayed uh, and passed it as a output parameter of type string so that simple the code was and it works amazing so where i see i can consume this particular uh, kind of implementation so basically i can ask questions like this um, in real time to chat gpt like suggest proper visualization for um, let's say what time series analysis and i simply submit it let's see what uh, chat gpt recommend to us most appropriate visualization for time series analysis is a line chart okay basically we can ask uh, chat gpt to help us in our development process uh, without having a lot of research associated most common mistake people do over the course of a data analytics uh, uh, development process over here data analytics process here over here they get confused like uh, how uh, to implement the right visualization for right uh, kind of data and we got this kind of uh, normal queries which comes into our head while doing any kind of development and that will be very helpful at the time of development we can have this particular prompt based uh, uh, windows available at, in the sidebar of a, any a template and we keep developing our usual analysis and when we are done we can simply take it take uh, them down from uh, from the interface and that's all and it is very very useful thing and also we, i can think like uh, some common queries it can answer from the end users as well and it will be a great feature to add in any kind of uh, analysis available so let's have another interaction like uh, simply I, I cannot get over like how to uh, stop using this so i have a lot of questions and i ask it randomly for uh, suggest proper visualization for volumetric comparison okay so let's see the response and yeah means like uh, i started with the data analysis and uh, i was simply trying to understand what exactly different things are so i needed some help like why we created this kind of visualization itself for this kind of data why not something else so those kind of questions comes in in our head when we are very new to any any new system and we are trying to grasp things understand things how that they are working and this kind of uh, small bit of information is very useful uh, for example uh, i remember a long time back someone said that uh, you have need to develop a pareto chart i was not aware what exactly the pareto chart and what is pareto analysis so at that time i had to head to the google i had to head to the google and ask the question and uh, after uh, it needed some uh, few, uh, more number of clicks and to spend there more number of uh, hours to spend there to get the appropriate answer so let's see how chat gpt responds to that what is pareto analysis and uh, some of that let's see what response we get okay pareto analysis is a statistical technique used to analyze data and identify the most significant factor that contribute to a particular problem or result it is based on the pareto principle which states that 80% of effects come from 20% of the cause. Pareto analysis is used to prioritize which issues to address first and to identify which actions will have greatest impact. And it is close to perfect uh, 
interpretation of uh, Pareto analysis and I was simply amazed by the results so hopefully you would like this thing as well and in future like we have a lot of things like uh, we can use this particular thing to um, create a let's say automatic assignment system like we simply feed the questions and we run them to uh, uh, for uh, GPT responses in a loop to get the uh, series of answers and generate a text out of it that will be doing automatic assignments completely and uh, other things like uh, we can generate interview questions ask to it to GPT and get the appropriate answers with the very minimal effort first of all and we have to simply rectify and audit the answers rather than uh, doing a research from scratch and write a lot of text manually and type it a lot so that's the thing that it can be helpful and there are a lot of use cases so this was my take on chat gpt hopefully you like it and yes share share your love by hitting subscribe button liking this video and let us know about your feedback by using comments below that's all for today have a nice day ahead and have a happy weekend.